So in this video, I'm gonna share some AI tools that have changed my life, helped to increase my workflow, whether this is for business or for school. These are all different tools that you can use that can significantly improve your life as well. So let me share some of them with you. A lot of them are free or at least have free versions. And some of them people aren't really talking about and they can really help you out a lot when it comes to working and just getting things done faster and more efficiently. So let's talk about them here. The first one is called Gamma AI. So you can go to gamma.app. And what this is really useful for is anytime that you need to create any type of deck, whether this is like a pitch deck or a PowerPoint, maybe you need a presentation for school or you're creating a new business and you wanna create a slide deck for any reason whatsoever, any type of presentation, you can use Gamma to do this. So let me just show you how easy it is to use. Let's say that we wanna create a new one right here. We can generate and we can just tell it what we want to create. So let's say I want to make a slide deck for my venture fund and then we can just click on generate outline. And so this is making it for us right here. And then we can just click on continue and we can decide if we want to add some images, some other things that are probably pretty important. We can do that. Click on continue and then just let it generate it for us just like that. Okay. So literally in about 15 to 20 seconds. It just created this entire deck for us about Roadrunner Ventures. It made all of this using AI. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. We can go, we can present this right here using Gamma, or we can even download it if we want to export it to something else as well, right? If we want to share it and export it in any different way, like onto PowerPoint, we can do that very easily or onto a PDF. And we can obviously go in and modify things, change things as we would like, but they literally just saved me probably eight hours hours worth of work to make this deck for us. So go to gamma.app if you wanna check that out for any type of presentation or deck that you want to create. And by the way, I'm gonna leave links to all of these tools that you can get access to down below in the description of this video. So if you wanna check them out during the video or afterwards, feel free to do so. The next one I wanna show you is Quillbot. Now Quillbot is really going to help you with anything that you need in terms of writing, whether you're writing a paper or you need to create some blog articles or you need to use some writing to detect if there's anyone who's used AI in the past. This is great for like teachers, for example, to see if their students have been using AI to write on essays and also things like checking your grammar. So there's eight different tools all in one platform. If you use Quillbot, it's just quillbot.com. I'll leave that link to it down below, like I said. If you need translate things, you can do that using Quillbot. And also it is free to sign up. They have paid versions. You don't absolutely need them. You can see how many universities are using Quillbot as well. It's used by a lot of people and it really has saved me so much time, especially when I'm doing any type of research is using Quillbot. Okay, so the third AI tool is using Hostinger AI to build a website for you. And you can do this in five to 10 minutes. So whether you want like a personal website, like I have nadobryan.com and I just put all of my personal accomplishments on there. You can do something like that. Or if you're creating a website for your business, Hostinger AI can do this for you. If you just go over to centralmedia.com slash Hostinger, or you just go to hostinger.com, you can find it right there. And it's like $2.99 a month. These prices can change a little bit, but you can see some of the features that they have in here on their website builders. They have an AI image generator, AI writer, AI blog generator, and tools for SEO to rank your website on Google. Like gone are the days of like trying to make a really complicated website, having to pay a web developer. You can use Hostinger to make this for you very quickly at a really cost-effective manner. So it's something that I think is probably the best way to create a site and everyone should have a site for their personal brand or for their business or just to have one in general, whether you're trying to write a blog or create something else. Hosting is probably the best move for that. Trust me, I've gone through dozens of different website builders. Hosting is the easiest one to use and the best price out of all of them. So that's one that I would suggest checking out. All right, the next one is HeyGen. So I remember when I first saw Hey Jen, I was almost kind of creeped out because it looked so realistic, but this is going to create videos for you. You can just put in a script and it will create avatars that look extremely realistic. As you can see from this one right here, this is AI generated. This is not someone actually speaking here on this example, but if you need to use this for whatever reason, whether you are a creator or you want to make videos, but you don't want to be on camera, these are all things you can do using Hey Jen by putting your script into this platform. So they have a lot of different tools, but definitely I would say that their AI avatar is probably the best one. So I would look into it. The pricing as well is pretty good. They do have a free version, so you can go around 
mess around with it, see if it's worth your while. But we've been using it and I think it's really great. In fact, I'm actually AI generated right now. Just just kidding, I'm, I'm not actually, I'm talking to the camera. But it is really good and I would suggest using it for creating videos. All right, so another one that I think is really cool that I really don't see people talking about, even though it should be very popular because it's a product created by Google. And this is something like Music FX. Now they actually have all these different ones as well, like video, images, text. So if you wanna create any of those, you can use them uh, using Google. I will leave a link to this down below as well, because right now it's the AI test kitchen dot with Google.com. That'll probably change when they fully launch it. But if you wanna make any type of music, if you wanna do some DJing basically, you can use this and just tell it what you want. Like say like music for fishing in Louisiana, right? Let's say on the bayou and then just click on generate and it's only gonna take about 15 to 20 seconds and it will generate music for us based on our criteria that we gave it. And then we can toggle with this. Sounds pretty good. And we can download it, we can change the settings, we can uh, modify things, we can go into DJ mode as well. So if you understand music pretty well, or even if you just wanna mess around and make some cool tunes, you can do that using music effects created by Google. That's really cool and I think they're gonna add a lot of new features in the coming months. So I would consider looking into it. Okay, so the next one that I wanna show you is 11 Labs. So 11 Labs, I think they're recently ventured back to have a lot of money. And so they've been doing some really cool things. Their main features are things like text to speech, speech to speech, dubbing. So if you wanna like change things, you wanna change it into different languages, they have all of these different things available. So you can just enter in your text, whether this is like an essay that you wrote or something. and it will generate this voice for you. You can change the voice, you can change the language as well. And you can even change like the accent, for example. So this is just something that I think is really incredible, seeing this just in the past few years, how useful this can be. Dubbing, for example, they have one here. And it's just so awesome to see how really useful this is in anyone's everyday life, whether you're trying to translate something, clone your voice, do text to speech, it's all super, super accurate. So 11 Labs is one that I think is really cool. And of course they do have that free version as well. So you can mess around with it and see if it's something that you would like to use, whether this is in your business or for school or for any other type of project that you might have. So the next tool that has really increased my workflow and helped me a lot is respell.ai. And so with respell, this is really like an all-in-one tool where you can decide what it actually does for you. You can see some of the use cases here of like what people use it for, especially useful for like sales or recruiting or operations or marketing marketing, but I'll give you like some specific use cases of what you could do with something like Respell. So if we just look at some of the templates that they've created for us, so we can see like what Respell would actually do for us, I'll just go over to templates inside of my Respell account and I'll show you. For example, let's say that we are selling something, maybe we're like a landscaping company and we want to research and qualify inbound leads to see if it's the right type of person. Respell can do this for you. They have an automation system that you can set up to do this. It connects with all of your other apps, whether you use like HubSpot or Salesforce or High Level, any of these other ones, it can connect to them, right? Maybe we want to get a company's LinkedIn info and it will do that automatically for us. So it's a research assistant, but also we can use it for sales. We can use it for marketing. We can use it for operations. Maybe we want to turn our blog post into LinkedIn posts. We can set up a system inside of Respell to do this for us. They have all these different things that are available to us. I will leave a link to that down below as well, like all the other ones. And with Respell, the opportunities are really endless. Like there's so many different things you can do and creating your own custom systems inside of this. And I think that's what really sets it apart from a lot of other AI tools out there, at least in 2024. All right, and then the final one I wanna talk about is Magic Studio. If you're trying to create any type of images or you want to modify images, don't even worry about using something like Photoshop, which can be so complicated and confusing. You can just use something like Magic Studio to help you create the perfect photos. You can see how, you know, you wanna remove these cars, boom, they're removed just like that. You wanna put this little jar of whiskey in a tropical place or Christmas or all these other things. You can do that super easily using Magic Studio. So they have a lot of different tools here, as you can see. 
They have Magic Eraser, which is probably one of my favorite ones. You can just get rid of things, like you get rid of that car right there, super easy. You upload your picture, you do it just like that. It's really, really simple. Okay, so let me just show you how easy this is. Like, let's say that we have a photo here and we want to maybe like get rid of this sticky pad, right? We can just highlight it and then click on Erase and now it's gone and we got it out of the picture just like that and then we can download the photo right now, right? So it was that easy to use something like Magic Eraser, one of the features of Magic Studio. So those are some of my favorite AI tools right now in the end of 2024. I think we'll make an updated one later on in the year with some new tools. Feel free to share some of your favorite tools down below in the comments section. We do have longer tutorials on some of these as well, but if you want like full product demos on like Respell or some of these other ones, then let me know and I can make full tutorials if you need help using some of them. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you found some value in it and I'll see everybody sometime in a future video.